even in the midst of your trying time, you got to praise him before you come out the battle. I don't know where we got off that we got to praise him when we come out. But I believe if you praise him in the midst of it, you'll come out even more quicker. But God said, I can't get no real folks to praise. So he says, I had fainted less, I believe, to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. But he thought about it and he said, wait, I say, on the Lord. He said, be of good courage. People of God, you got to get in the mirror and encourage yourself. The pastor may not always be around. Your companion may not always be around. But you got to know who you are in God. So you can stand in the mirror and tell yourself, I am the righteousness of hell in Christ Jesus. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. He said, I will strengthen your heart. So Paul says, be not weary. Don't give up. I know sometimes things come and it look like you can't get through. He said, but be not weary in your well doing. Well doing. Somebody say well doing. Well doing simply means this. If you live in holy, you're supposed to be going through some things. So you don't have to get weary if you're living holy and it look like the enemy has shot all kinds of darts at you. That means you're doing something right. I'm a little scared if you look like all hell is breaking loose and you ain't living nothing. But I come to encourage you, go through your tests. Go through your trials. God is only making you who he wants you to be. So he said, be not weary in well-doing. But you shall reap if you faint not. I know that sometimes you don't want to make it, but it should be that yes again. The yes on the inside causes you to rise up from a pit and say, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. We quote that scripture, but can God count on you to really live the scripture when you're in the fire? Can God count on you to bless him in the midst of the storm and as I take my seat, I know a little bit about being weary oh, and yeah. well doing. Oh, March 15, I had a mild stroke that left my left side weak, yeah, yeah. left the left side half numb. But God showed me a miracle April the 15th, one month later, and I was able to go to the empowerment conference. Well, I blessed him in the midst of the stroke. I couldn't stand like I want to, but my hands had to go up every now and then. If you to bless God and be true praises of God. Even if you are afflicted in your body, your toes should weep or something should bless him. Oh, so bless the Lord. So even after God brought me through that, May 4th, my mother passed. I was away preaching and the message that God gave me was God gives strength. How many know that there are times that you tell other people God will give you strength and you got to turn around words. I had to turn around and eat the same words and say, God, give me strength. And within 26 days later, my oldest sister passed. By now, my mind, my mental state should be messed, it should be messed up. But God gives strength. God said, I'll give strength to my people. He said, so just hold 